Welcome to the 126th edition of the Journal's That Was the Week That Was show, or what's happened in the Highlands area this week. Let's get started. Virginia Senator Mark Warner came to the historic Masonic Theater last Saturday and gave residents an update on his latest activities. He answered a slew of questions on a variety of topics. There's full video of his visit right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. Senator Warner presented the County of Allegheny with an American flag that's been flown over the Capitol as a bicentennial gift. He also posed for a photo after a check to the historic Masonic Theater in his name was presented. Boys Home got a lifetime sports equipment grant from the Leveling the Playing Field organization of Silver Springs, Maryland. The city of Covington announced the beginning of its $8.3 million upgrade to the city's wastewater treatment plant. Many construction-related deliveries may be expected. Greenbrier Physicians was thanked by Boys Home for a sponsorship for its annual Harvest Run event set for November 5th. Mountain Gateway Community College student Katie Schaffstahl was recognized for being the vice president of the Phi Theta Kappa organization, the National Honorary Society. Covington City Treasurer Teresa Harrison was arrested on four charges, three felonies and one misdemeanor, after an investigation was conducted by the Virginia State Police. She was released on a $2,500 unsecured bond. The Covington City Council moved quickly on Tuesday night to effectively strip Teresa Harrison of operational control of the treasurer's office and moved it to the city finance director. On Monday, the Bank of Botetourt gave Mountain Gateway Community College a $3,000 gift for its Student Success Fund. And we'll be right back. The Allegheny Highlands School Board decided to move forward with a public hearing to change the name of Jeter Watson Intermediate School and Edgemont Primary School to Jeter Watson Elementary School with grades K-7 through this coming school year. Allegheny High School is seeking public nominations for its Athletics Hall of Fame this fall. Much more information on this is available right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. Highlands Community Bank, the Jackson River Community Credit Union, and Loving Funeral Home are helping to sponsor the upcoming Senior Law Day event at Mountain Gateway Community College set for August 10th. West Rock's Covington Mill announced position changes for seven employees. Complete details and photos are now available on AlleghenyJournal.com. Covington City Attorney Mark Popovich released a statement on actions the City Council took on Tuesday to deal with the arrest of the City's treasurer. A ribbon-cutting event was held at Ridgely Bed, Breakfast, and Gardens in Clifton Forge on Thursday. Video is now up on AlleghenyJournal.com. Amy Dew, with 33 years of public education experience, was named the new interim assistant principal at Mountain View Elementary School. A sixth community gathering event was held on Thursday night at the historic Masonic Theater with three Clifton Forge officials answering a variety of questions from the audience. There's video about all this right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. 
The Covington Parks and Recreation Department Summer Music Series continues tonight at 6.30 p.m. with the band Fuzzy Logic, set to perform at the Jackson River Sports Complex. And thanks very much for joining us today for our 126th show in this series. With more than 15,788 Facebook followers now, your readership is very much appreciated. See you right here again next week.